Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Go Goober here, back with another video for basic creative mode settings. Hey, my newest map, Lep 4 Dead 2, has been doing so well. I want to thank you guys all for the support that you've given me, and I gotta say that someone already has gotten the first place spot for beating the entire campaign mission on Realism. So shout out to them; those guys are awesome. Um, you can check out my map. Go ahead and download that map code, and then walk in and see who who's made it to the first place spot but um also another map that's been doing really well is this map this is my my uh, aquarium prop hunt escape map there's a lot going on here so this is go goobers aquarium here and i wanted to showcase a couple things that are inside because you guys have been asking me so much so here we go i want to check out a few things we've got a working pool working campfire and also just a an average beachfront that looks very realistic in my opinion I think I did a pretty good job but I want to showcase how I made all this stuff happen so you notice this campfire is working you know if you place down a campfire sometimes it doesn't work I'll show you how that happens but let's get started with the first so we have a pool here and the thing is I made I I personally made it so like a character can't swim in here but when you're a prop when you're one of the secret or props you're able to swim in here so it's super fun so yeah, this is just your basic pool we got the diving board from the coral gallery i believe uh, no actually i think it's a, I think it's the what is it paradise palms gallery or, or something like that so it looks like a basic pool i didn't get too fancy with this just because it's a linear kind of infection style map so it's just you run through you see a pool sometimes you jump in and hide or whatever but to make this happen you need to get these pieces together, and it's super simple when you go into the gallery to, to find the pools thing. So let me just show you what it looks like. All it is, is this sunken down. That's all it is. That's literally all it is, and you have to do this one thing. You need this map, and this is the, the Kevin Floating Island uh, map, I believe, and I just made sure to calculate where I was gonna put the ground on this map because the water is able to, you're able to swim in this water this isn't just that basic water gallery that you can just run through and there's no physics involved with it so this is this is the only thing I did to make it happen so you can kind of see how I I put the floor down just enough for this water to peek out and it just you know goes right through the floor which is really cool and I also made that happen right over here a lot of you guys have played this map already but you know just like this we've made a little tide pool so swimmable just like this so the hunters can swim through and find the props and whatnot with their harpoon guns and flintlocks so super fun element to put in a map if there's a some kind of pool that you wanted to put in but you've been using the basic water you just got you you've got to do this instead the only trade-off would be you have to use this map if maybe this is not the map you want to use whatever you know all you have to do is just put the floors down and some scenery around and you're good you, don't, you can't even notice so people that spawn in don't even know what map this is unless they see this water. A lot of people know that. Okay, here we go. So the next part is a working campfire. So what I did was literally just this. This is not fit to prop. This floor is not fit to prop. So all I did was just throw those floors down. And then I put a campfire on top of it. Then uh, I, I backed up the map left and it came back and it worked. So I don't know if this has been patched yet or... Or they're just gonna let this keep happening but if you remember the the hub that was just on uh, it was by chase god what's his name he's on my friends list hold on chase jackman this guy he's awesome he made one of the hubs recently and i noticed he also had this the campfire is just up here with smoke so super cool element to add in the map if you want to have maybe like a like a crashed helicopter if you want to have a burning building or something find a place where you can have just a basic campfire that you can throw down for that smoky effect, which is super cool. All right, so let's move on. So how to make a beachfront, this is the deal. Look at this smooth transition that I made. So it's it's not super sharp. If it's too sharp, ah, you can kind of screwed up right here. You can kind of see the line. So, but hey, this is good for, for you guys to see. I've got, also, this is a big mess up on my part. Sheesh, I gotta fix, I didn't even notice that. Anyway, we'll fix that at another time, but <laughs> you know what? forget it, we're just gonna, we're just gonna throw this rock right here. And fix that just like that. <laughs> All right, I took the lazy way out. But anyway, we've got a beachfront here. So I threw some can sand castles down here. We got just a little scene going on. This is not really related to the beach, but I thought it was funny for the map. But I've got the little soccer goals, and I've got this ball right here too that you can scoot around. So it makes it feel like a 
some kind of so with beaches you want some kind of sport sporty event or something you've got the lifeguard tower chairs here i could have made that more interesting but i just threw them on just because it's simple and then this is something super neat so this trailer isn't in any of the galleries i got this from that one map that's like secret creative map props that aren't included in creative mode or whatever it's called and you know i just threw that on so we got the boat loading up on the dock this guy's like hey help me out you know we got the trailer and the, the car ready to pull that thing it's a little basic type pulls over here too so and you know we got our, our props here as well i think this looks pretty flush we've got the scenery on the side it's just you know when you're in a beach usually you'll see some rocks on the side or some kind of cliff um unless you're just on some kind of you know, coast. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. I, decli I decided to just throw this on. So here's the deal: when you're when you're swimming, it gets deeper and deeper until a certain point. And I threw this net over here. It's that soccer goal. I just decided to make like a net. You know, sometimes they don't want certain sea critters to go into the swimmable part of a beach. So I think that's kind of a cool thing to throw in. So, but when you're swimming, you can't really notice that I didn't extend the floor. So. That's all you really need because it's at the end of the map. No one's really exploring too hard right here because you're just trying to, you know, take out the sea critters that are about to make it to the end. You know, they reach this trigger at the end. You can't see this in the game. Once they go through, boom, game ends. You got a couple boats here in the distance and the buoys too. So I think as far as like making a basic beach front, I did a pretty good job. Let me know what you think in the comments down here below. But super basic man i took basically the same rock and just kind of flipped it around a little bit and made it fancy and just i loved how the water created this little pool here too i like that a lot um we threw the coral down here and what else we made a little octopus too and that guy this is chilling so i think i did a decent job here let me know what you guys think and Please play this map if you have it. I think it's tons of fun if you have, a, you know, a party in this easy mini game. All you have to do is load it up. There's a hunter. Everyone starts in here. You got to survive for a minute, and then you run through the through the uh, aquarium. So there's a couple exhibits here that you can check out. We've got the jellyfish. You know, they're running around in here. We've got the kind of fluorescent style jellyfish here as well. So I think it's super fun. It's easy. Let me know what you guys think. Have a great rest of your day, and let me know what else you'd like to see for creative settings because I like to explain this stuff. It's super fun. Um, creative mode is more fun to me than Battle Royale right now. Can't wait for the next season. We'll see what happens. But um, hey, you know, guys, continue to, to like and subscribe because it helps me out like crazy. And feel free to use my code in the item shop as well. Thanks, you guys. Have a nice rest of your day. Peace out.